Union. There have always been migratory flows to the European Union, but in the last year we've been facing the worst refugee crisis since the Second World War. NATO can help firstly in terms of resources, just having a presence there uh, is in itself a disincentive for smugglers and the second is really in intelligence gathering. NATO can be a game changer in this scenario because we have capabilities all the other organizations might not have. Uh, with the sophisticated radars we can uh, detect the migrant boats uh, from a considerably good distances. And the big advantage about the NATO operation is that it can operate in Turkish waters, which is something that Frontex can't do. This is the police! Get out! Get out. Okay. NATO has access to very valuable uh, information about uh, the smugglers. Uh, they are in touch uh, with the Turkish authorities and they can share this information with. They can also share, share this information with Frontex. Uh, the current environment of the Aegean Sea is uh, rather difficult because it is uh, littered with literally hundreds of uh, small uh, islands. Well, the mission is going very well for the moment. I'm very much content with the level of coordination and cooperation we have established with as well the Hellenic Navy, the Turkish Navy, the Hellenic Coast Guard, the Turkish Coast Guard and with Frontex as well. So since the beginning of 2016, where we saw about 2,000 people arriving per day, the arrivals are now down to about 100 a day. When I see some people who, uh, who is very desperate and who, who is in pain, uh, it pains me very much. I am very proud of, as a commander of the ship, uh, to support the people, uh, to reduce the uh, number of loss of life uh, at sea.